Ayin hey Amid Aleph. Ain Solanus Apesa. So the the, the Tanakhama said you don't roast the Pesach on an askala. And then immediately afterwards, Rabbi Gamliel says he told his servant Tevi to grill it on the askala. Misa Listor? What? You're telling me a story that, that is contradictory to the Mishnah? So the Gemara says, There were some words missing, and this is how you have to understand the Mishnah. If this uh, this grate where they would roast something was at a hole in it, then mutter, then it would be permitted. And then on Rab Sodik, Maestro Bakamil, Shamal Tabiabu, say with Salam Sapatak La Aska on the That's why he told Tabi his servant to uh, roast the Korban Pesach on this Askala that had holes. Boy Rav Khina Braidim Rabada Baraba. Tanashi Siko Baklipe Orla. You have an oven that was heated up with wood from an orla tree where it's Oser Bahano. Now, you certainly could not have the, the wood in there. So Grofo, they removed the wood. However, the heat is still in the oven. And therefore they put a, 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 a dough in there. The Afobosapas, they baked the bread with the heat of the oven. According to the opinion who says that if you bake bread with mamish wood of orla, what would he say in this case when you remove the wood, it's just the heat? He said the pas would be permitted. If you have an oven that was heated, and then they removed the, the, the wood and they roasted a, a Pesach in it, aims at Sliesh. That's not considered Sliesh. Shunemat Sliesh, Sliesh, Te Pamim. Time of the Galerachman at Sliesh, Sliesh, Te Pamim. Hello, Gali Rachman, I have a minute sliation. So, why should the pas be muteris? It's like having the eight sim in there. Amr le, Gali Rachman, a hosom. We learned by Korban Pesach, the Alfina Mino. And we learned from there that uh, to all the other dinim in the Torah. The e boys, if you want, I'll tell you some time because Rachman is sliation, they pamim. The reason it works by the reason why it doesn't work by Korban Pesach because there was a requirement twice. It said Sliesh twice. Haloy Kozach wanted Sliesh David. We would only said it once. Hava Amina, Aish Kapid Rachmana. That the Torah wants you to have fire there. We feel Gorfanami Sliesh. And when you have an oven, even though you remove the wood, but if it's hot, it's considered Sliesh. But that's over there by the Korban Pesach where the key is it needs to be roasted with fire. Aval hacha, but here when we're talking about the Isser Hana of Orla, I ate some Disruka Kabi Rachmana. The Torah doesn't want you to use the wood itself. Here you remove the wood. So that's why it would be permitted. Ton Rabbon. Chatcho Unetano Agabi Gecholi. You made some cuts in the Korban Pesach and, and you put it on coals. Rabbi Oimer, Oimer Anish is at Sliesh. He said, that's no problem. Cooking with coals is considered like Sliesh. Rami Lei, Rav Achadvoy, Barami, Rav Chizda. Rav Achadvoy showed a contradiction. Me, I'm a Rabbi Gecholim Eishninu. Where do you see that Rebbe holds that coals are considered age? Verimino, I'll ask you a kasha from Tsaras. Because it says, O Basar, Oro He has like a burn on his skin. So, Eli Elishinech Vabaish. 
that would imply it's got to be burnt with fire. What about nichva begacheles? What if a coal burnt him? Baremetz, <clears throat> which is like hot hay. Besid lime roseach. Begapsis, like plaster, which is also kind of lime. The Chodov Rabbamina or in anything that really comes for, as a as a tolda of fire with Sui Chane, or for example, um, hot water causing a burn. How do you know that that's also considered a Michva Seish, Minayim? Tamad Loimer, Michva, Michva Riba. It says twice, Michva Seish. So, time in Rabbi Rachman, Michva, Michva, that's over there by Tsaras. Aloy, Rabbi Rachman, Michva, Michva. If the Torah would not have repeated it, I would have learned Gecholim Labesh Ninu. Coals are not considered fire. So how could Rebbe tell us that if I roast the Korban Pesach over the coals, it's considered Sliesh, but here it's a, a Raya that Gecholim are not considered Esh. Amr Lei, Gachelet Shel Eitz Lo Yitzchak Kral A wooden, you know, like if, if you, you were burning wood, and it's like a coal, that doesn't need a special posit to, to be marbez age. Ki yitzrech kol gachelet shomatechet. We're talking about, let's say you have iron that's white hot. So that would be a shaila. And therefore we needed a posit to tell me that that kind of coal is also considered age. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Ask the Gemara of a Gecholim Shema Techas Lab Eishu. Why would you think that a white hot piece of iron is not considered Eish? Mahagabi Baskoyen. You have the din of a Baskoyen Shazinsa, the daughter of a coin that was Mizane. What's the din? Dechsiv Ba Eish Tisare. She has to be burnt. Vamrah. Amrav Masna, how do you burn her? Psila shal evra yoisinla. They would take lead, they would melt it down and pour it down her throat. Well, you see clearly that metal is considered ash. Or says Shani also, Dhamma Krabba Ash Tisarev. Tisarev the rabbis call Sraif was a Bosman Aish. The words bo ish tisarev is a special reboot. And certainly, if it is by itself heated up with fire. So the Gemara says, why are we pouring molten lead down her throat? Why don't we surround her with branches of wood and burn her that way? Because Asya Srefa Srefa Mibnearu. We learn a special Xera Shava from the Bnearu. Because it says by the Bnearu uh, that they were burned with Srefa. And what kind of strafer was that? Malal and strafer to shove of the goof kayim. It was an internal burning. Their bodies remained intact. Avkan by the baskoyen shazinsa strafer to shove of the goof kayim. You have to burn her internally. The nevid lechamea. Or so why why do you make her to drink molten lead? Why not give her hot water? So Mishum Drav Nachman. Dar Rav Nachman Amar Krav Vehafta Loyecha Kamocha. Bror Lo Misa Yafe. That if somebody is adjudicated to be executed through capital punishment, you should choose the easiest way to do it. And using molten lead, I guess, is easier than hot water. Hmm. So fine. Lechim Akadikar Rav Nachman Gzair Shavalamli. 
So since you have this teaching of Rav Nachman, a broad lo misu yofe, that you have to choose an easy death, then why do I need a gzeirah shava to the Bnei Aroi of, of Sreifa internally and Guf Kayim? Amri. So we answer, you love gzeirah shava. It wasn't for the gzeirah shava. Ava mina. Sreifa is neshava of a Guf Kayim. Lab Sreifa he. I had to connect that this kind of internal Sreifa is considered Sreifa. And the Pasuk says so. And the Yimishum Rav Nachman, a bror lo misa yafe. So all you have to do is nefesh lechafilei zmaras dufa. Pile on a massive bonfire, and, and she'll die in a second. Ki heche de Thomas Bagala. That she would that that uh, it wouldn't you know it would also be a, an easy death. Kamash balon that. No, we do it internally. So then, Bo'esh Tisarev seems to be superfluous. Why not just say Tisarev? Vela Bo'esh Lamali. La Fuki Evermi Ikaro. That you didn't heat up the lead. You actually got the lead from the ground while it was still hot. But in that case, it would not, you would not be Makai Mitzvah Sreifa. Because you gotta burn, you gotta fire up the Yesh by yourself. So it's Lafuke Aver Mikar. It's to exclude a case where you found molt, molten leather coming directly from the ground. Molten lead coming directly from the ground. So are you telling me? That whenever the Torah uses Boish Tisari, if it comes to include any kind of burning, would be considered H. We have the Korbanos called Parimani Srafim, which are brought for either sins of Avodah or the Parim of Yom Kippur. They're all burnt. You have to use fire and not with hot lime. Velobik fosim osech and not with the different type of lime. I thought you said boish tisarif means I can use any kind of item that is hot. On the achiyash, there's no comparison. Hasim ksiv boish. The hotter tisarif for rabbis kol shreves abos machosei. By by the baskoye where it says boish tisarif. Or tzliyesh by the korban pesach, then kol shreifus abbas machzayish. But by the here, by the parman israfim, it doesn't have this connection of ba'is to sarach exiv. The saraf oiso al eitzim ba'ish, levasoif ish, lemeimer the ish in midiachrinin lo. Also nami exiv a shreifah levasoif. Here as well, it's written shreifah at the end. So it's not just meaning by the parim on Yisrofim, it just doesn't write the word Aish at the end, it also has Yisrofim. So Amri, that we can't darshan, because we need that word Yisrof to teach me another din, because it says Yisrof, you burn the par even if there is no ash there. And Yisrof, or Berubo, and even though it's only the majority of the animal was on fire, that's enough. Ravina on a croc. Sorry, the difference is in the case of the bulls, they have been yeah. captured already, they are dead, right? Yes. In the case of a woman, you're killing her. So yeah, but, the, but, but that's okay because they're, but the word is boesh tisorev. And we want to know what kind of age. Do you have to use fire? Can you use hot lime? So it makes no difference in, in this case, the animals are dead already. And, and here it, it's still trying to define the use of Vaish to okay. it's, it's a little macabre to understand that pouring hot lead down somebody is a kind death. Well, it's kinder than pouring hot water. Not sure. That's the only thing the Gemara compared it to. Yeah, 
I understand, but uh, I don't know anybody's come back from that, so, uh, you know, I don't know. Right. Ravina on a krochu toni michvasech. Amy elish yenichva ba'esh v'gachelas. I might think that by the mitzora it has to be a burn either by fire or coal. Nichva b'remet specifically sechel v'gafosim or sech. But if you use hot hay or lime, v'chodov rabba machvasa or hot water l'sucha me'or minayin, how do you know that's also mechvas? Tamadar mechva mechva riba. It's a double language. Okay, Rava Rami. We learned that that it was said in the name of Rebbe that if you put a korban pesach on top of coals, it's considered sliyesh. So Rava asks me, "Am a Rebbe kecholim ikruish? Is it true that Rebbe considered coals ish or aninu?" It says by Yom Kippur, by the Ktoires, it says, take a pan filled with gachle eish, me'alam is bech v'lefne Hashem. So, yachol, oy memois, where you don't even see the flame at all. It's almost extinguished. You can't see the fire from the outside when you look at these coals. Talmud Lomar H. Can't, it cannot be Oymemois. It says H. The H Yachol shall have it. Maybe I need a flame. Talmud Lomar Gachle. No, I only the coals are enough. Hotcakes. And maybe even a shows. You have to bring from coals that when you look at the coals, it's got a little fire in it. Alma Gacholim Lot Loi Kriyesh. So you see, coals just by himself are not called H. Create to go out. Kasha. There's another internally contradictory thing. Amrit gachle, which means I might think it could be even oymamois, even where you don't see any fire. Alma loichos eishninu. So the opposite of oymamois, which are where you see a fire, so that would be considered eish. But ema seifa. E eish yachol shal evet. I might think you need a flame. Tamadona gachle. Alma feel loichos lav eishninu. From that part of the Mishnah, or Baraisa, Loichas are not considered age. Vamarav Shesh is Achiktari. Gachle, which is plural. Yachol, Bain, Oymemois, Bain, Loichas. I might think you could use coals, even if they're almost extinguished or they still have a flame. Talmud Lamar, age. The age, I might think you need a Shalevet. Talmud Lamar, Gachle, Haketza. Maybe even a Loichas. You bring from the coals and you can still see a fire. Now, so we see regular coals are not considered age. Kashal Rebbe. How could Rebbe say then that if you put a korban pesach on coals, it's considered sli age? Am Rabbi Atritzachi, gachle yachol oymemois. I might think you have to only use oymemois and not loichshos. Tamad lemer age. No, we're going to use the loichshah so that you can still see fire. If it's eish, maybe you have a choice. Flame or coal. Maybe even a lot. It has to be cold, but it's coals that still have a fire in them. Amar Rabba. Rabba, in fact, says, Ratsa gacheles yavi. Ratsa shalemes yavi. He can bring either one. Coals or flame. Now, how do you bring a flame without coals? Shalevis blok achelas eichem mishkachas lam. Kigon de shapi lamon and mishka. You take like a little piece of pottery. You put some oil there. The itli be nori. You light a fire and you carry it in the in the shard. Now. What's wrong with that? Why would I need a pasu to exclude that? Where I can't bring just a flame. I got to bring the coals with the flame. A servant in front of a king will certainly not do that. So if the melech machi have lochim in the base of Medesh, I got to just from a kol shekei. Am rava tritzachi, gachle, yachol oyem ois v'loyem oichrish. I might think that he has to use the coals that are completely extinguished. Talmud Lomer H. He H Yachol Yavi Mechza Gachelus Mechza Shalemis. 
Maybe he should bring half coals, half flame. At the Isle of Gavoy, yeah, but by the time he gets into the Kodesh Kadoshim, those, the flame will have turned into coals. They have to be coals from the moment you take them. It can't be flame and then turn into coals. That which we called oimemois, is it with an olive or an ayin? Omerab Yitzchak, he brought a puzzle from Yechezkel. Arazim lo amamu began elokim. So you see, it's spelled with an ayin. Now, now comes a major source of halachos that we learned in Yoridea, by, by Kashrus. Noga b'char soshultani. If the korban pesach that that you're roasting in the oven touched the side of the oven, yiklof es makomo. You have to remove a klipa. So a klipa is like a fingernail's worth. The reason is because that part of the pesach didn't get cooked by the flame, but got cooked from the heat of the wall of the oven. And if, and therefore it's a it's a psul of it's not sliage. So there's a concept of klipa. You have to peel off at least a finger's depth at the place where the Korban Pesach touched the tongue. And we're gonna see that concept of klipa, for example, if a piece of meat touches an, a piece of trace meat, depends on whether it's fatty or not. So, and they're both hot. So it doesn't transfer the prohibition all the way into the kosher meat just the place where they touched have to be removed. And then one of the pshitas will be to remove a klipa, which as we learned from here, this concept of yiklofes makom. Another halach. Not of meroitfoy ala cheres. So some of the juice of the Korban Pesach splashed on the wall of the tunnel. And then the steam comes back to the Corbin. Yitol es makom. That's called kedei natila. It's not enough a klipa. You have to remove a natila, a bigger piece. The lo, Rashi says the losagile be klipa ele be natila yafa yafa be oive. It's got to be a little depth. The shuma nivla be toicharbe. And this was like oil from the Corbin. So that's why you have to go a little deeper. It's not enough Kedei Klipa. You got to go Kedei Natila. Not of me right for Allah soilas. Let's say you were breading uh, this Corbin Pesach and it went onto the breading. Again, Yikmotis Makomo, the moisture that fell onto the uh, flour needs to be removed through Kmitsa. Sacho B'Shem and Truma, let's say you, you, you brined or um, cover, yeah, you covered the Corbin Pesach with oil that was truma. Well, a non kohen cannot eat truma. So im chavuras kohanim, if the group that subscribed to this Corbin Pesach kohanim yoichlu im shal Yisrael. Now, if the group are Israelim, im chayhu. So if the animal, if the meat is still raw, yedichenu, before you roast it, you should wash it off and remove the shemen. Im tzlihu, if it's already been roasted, yiklof es achitzo. You have to do klipa the outside that the shemen absorbed at least the kedei klipa. 
so that the people will not, the Israeli will not eat the Shem not Truma, that is also to them. Sacho B'Shem and Shalmeister Sheni. Let's say somebody brought oil from his home as Meister Sheni to Shalayim. And they anointed the Korban Pesach with the Shem of Meister Sheni. The person who brought and anointed the Shemana Meister, he can't ask to be recompensed from the other people in the Chabura. Shane point Meister Shani Bushalai. Because that, in a sense, would be redemption of the Meister Shani. And you're supposed to redeem it only if you're in Tel Aviv and you want to bring the money. Once you're in Shalai, you're not allowed to redeem. It's also to sell to other people. So you can give it as a gift, but you can't sell it. Okay. We'll start tomorrow learning the dinim uh, of uh, a lot of them are very nogeya to Isra we, we learned some of them when we went through the Tzorvim Rabbonim. But these are the source Gemara's for it.